All right. Uh, game is the game podcast. Uh, bit of the day. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, we had a good weekend. Um, went 500 on Saturday, nothing on Sunday. Uh, nothing that I really saw that uh, piqued my interest. Uh, I thought both of the, the games were too close. I ended up taking the Chiefs, but um, wasn't quick enough on the draw to put it out in time. So apologies on that. Um, what am I? Now, now I am 12 and 8. 12 and 8. Um, still over 60%. So we're still rocking with that. But uh, um, a 500 night um, on Saturday night had some tough losses in Philadelphia uh, by a point. And uh, Conor McGregor, that was a tough loss as well. Um, and then uh, the Pelicans. I don't know what the hell happened to the Pelicans. They just gave up the ghost uh, versus the Bucks, uh, versus uh, the Wolves, actually. But uh, let's see if we can make some money today. Um, like the Magic, straight bet versus uh, the Hornets. Hornets haven't been playing particularly well, in my personal opinion. And uh, they played last night, uh, home and home stretch uh, for the Magic, but the Magic didn't have Aaron Gordon. Um, Hayward went off, and I think Aaron Gordon would have probably been taxed to defend him. Uh, or James Ennis, and he's going to be playing t- tonight as well. That just came down the transom. Um, I think that the the Sixers are a good team to look at, but Joel's not playing, but Ben Simmons has kind of been playing a lot better lately, some inspired basketball. So I, I would uh, look for him to have a, a, a very uh, impactful game as far as scoring the basketball. So it might be something that's intriguing, but I'm not going to give that as official pick. Uh, an official pick that I will give is Miami. I think Miami uh, getting eight points versus the Nets. The Nets have not guarded anyone this year yet. Um, the game that they had, uh, the Nets were up big and they get, let them come back a little bit. And I think uh, playing a uh, two game stretch versus the best coach in the NBA, it's just going to be a coaching mismatch. And defensively, I don't I think the Nets are interested in guarding anybody. So getting eight points in that type of matchup, I think is key. And I wouldn't be surprised if they end up winning, but I'm not going to give that as a money line option. Uh, the Celtics getting four versus Chicago. Celtics have been one of the more consistent teams in the league. Jason Tatum is coming back after a long uh, absence, and um, I like them to roll. I like them to roll versus Chicago, who um, last time they played versus the Lakers got their doors blown off. Um, it's going to be hard for them to defend without Wendell Carter. Um, so I like that. And uh, the Lakers minus 11 and a half. That's something that I would definitely look at and uh Denver but Denver's coming off of two back-to-back overtime games um so they might be a little tired but um they need this game they need to win this game they're below in the standings they need to make up ground so there's going to be a sense of urgency on that side but I do think fatigue is my sin in so I'm gonna stay away from that one but the Lakers is one at 11 and a half that's a pretty high line I always buy down the half number so I'm recommending at 11 but I'm not going to give that as an official pick because they are on a long road trip. Uh, they did come out with a lot of energy for Chicago and put them away pretty quickly. Um, you know, I'm going to take that because Larry Nance is not playing. I think he's been a, a pretty vital cog in this thing. So I'm going to take Miami as a straight bet. Miami, excuse me, plus eight. Uh, Magic, money line. Celtics, uh, minus four. And Lakers, minus 11. So four picks today. Uh, 12 and 8, so the game is a game, better of the day, keep the good times rolling.